Wow, that's now I'm just entranced. I've just stared into the beard and I can't think yeah. about anything else. Hey guys, did you know tomorrow is World Beard Day? It's, it's hard to say for some reason, World Beard Day, not to be confused with all the beer holidays we are talking about. Obviously amazing beard. So we have a world champion beard with us right now on a world champion man, of course, Madison Rowley. Yes. How long is your beard? Well, just past my belt. It gets buckled sometimes, which oh, is challenging. No. Yeah, um, it's been six years in the making. Now, if you walk by you, of course, you would think, wow, that must have won some kind of world title, but you have actually won multiple awards with this beard. This is true. I actually uh, initially grew it out to compete in the world championships that were hosted in Portland, and I ended up winning best in show. I was about 14 months of growth to the competition. Nice and full and round. I competed in the Garibaldi category, which is no longer than eight centimeters from your lower lip. And I didn't know there were so many official things in categories and lengths and details with beard competitions. <laughs> which snowballed into a trip to Austria where I won in Austria, and it's just been a wild bearded ride. <laughs> okay, so the reason we are doing this right before World Beard Day is of course we can always pay tribute to a beautiful beard and mustache, but soon you're actually gonna cut some of it off? Yes, it's happening. Why is this the time? You know, it's been six years. I've been that beard guy for a while. It's been fun, I've met a lot of amazing people. This doesn't mean I'm out of the beard scene. The beard scene, because yeah, right. that's a thing. Actually, what inspired it was um, the fact that I could maybe do more with having an amazing beard. A close childhood friend of mine passed away from an accidental drug overdose about a year and a half ago. And I wanted to find a way to bring awareness to the epidemic that is obviously being talked about a lot these days and uh, try and find a way to take this and transform it into something good. The charity is called Shatterproof, but I'd like to raise money for a good cause. I can always grow it back. It's not gone forever. Now, is there anything that you're nervous about shaving off part of your beard, things that you're gonna miss from having this amazing beard? Honestly, probably the random interactions with random people. Did you guys notice this magnificent beard wa walking towards you on the street? We definitely did, when he was across the street, actually. Yeah, I saw some eyes earlier. I was like, <laughs> okay. I'm actually kind of impressed. <laughs> just kind of, though? Yeah, it's, it's, it's nice. I want a little bit of hair from him. You just want to borrow some of his beard hair? It's not fair, man. See, I gotta give you her best black like, hair. What do you think of his beard? Uh, it's nice. Do you think you'll ever grow a beard that long? Uh, no. Do you need any tips on, on your own beard growing from Madison? I think I'm good. <laughs> we can all dream, okay? I've seen him with his beard in a bun before and that was memorable. <laughs> he has the most amazing beard I have ever seen. It's really cool. The beard is awesome. It definitely makes you original. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, and originality is good. It's extravagant. <laughs> Thank you. It's absolutely beautiful. Do people all the time just come up to you and what do they, what kind of comments do you get on your beard? It's usually how long? How long did that take to grow? I've just been wondering how long you've been growing it. It's like you had to have never cut it. How long did it take you to get to that? <laughs> do you use oils to keep it soft? I do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I actually have my own beard care line. What? It's called Rides. Now, when you do walk around in your daily life, do you always have it? out like this? No. Often I do a little knot, kind of twist up, tie it in a bun. It keeps it out of the way. If I don't feel like being stopped every 20 feet on a busy street, if it's tied up, it's a little bit easier. Do you want to toss it over your shoulder? <laughs> How does it feel like kissing, per se? Like, do people like it? No, or? I mean, I imagine it's vastly different if I didn't have any facial hair. You really only have access to the lower lip easily. The upper lip is a little more challenging. You have to work for it. Work for a good kiss. Have you ever dreamed of, of having a beard like that? Oh, I don't know about that long, but now my opinion may be changed a little bit now after <laughs> seeing this one, but. You were worried about the kissing. Yeah, I was worried about the kissing <laughs> a little bit, yeah. What if we told you he's actually thinking of cutting the beard? Don't do it. No, man. The great thing about this campaign is that when you donate, you get to choose what category your money goes toward. The bearded category that I will cut my beard to 
to compete in championships down the road. You're letting people decide your future. I'm like nervous for you. It'll be fun, I think. So what would you guys say? He's got all of these different categories. Got like the Fu Manchu, you got a Dolly mustache, a natural mustache, a Kaiser beard, a Garibaldi. What do you think? Definitely the Fu Manchu, yeah. <laughs> nice long mustache coming down the sides. I'm gonna go with the musketeer. That's beautiful. I would say that one. But definitely gonna be this one right here. Oh, the Hungarian. The Hungarian, yes. <laughs> okay, well we have spent so much time with this beautiful, amazing beard and mustache. Now, if people want to donate so they can help pick. The best way would be to find me on Instagram. I have a link set up that takes you directly to the GoFundMe page. So go follow Madison on Instagram, go donate to the GoFundMe and see where this beard and mustache goes next. Thank you, happy World Beard Day. Thank you. <laughs>